A few days ago, we posted an article about this 3D printed case for your Apple TV remote that allows users to attach an AirTag to it. You can either buy the STL file for $1.99 to print at home, or if you don't have a 3D printer, you can just buy this case on Etsy for like $13. So we decided to have one printed up, and I wanted to give you all a quick look at this 3D printed Apple TV remote case. Now, I'm not super familiar with 3D printing at all. That is not my area of expertise. I actually had a friend download the STL file for me and print these cases out. I didn't alter or do anything to it. This is the way that they came out of the printer. There were two files, so each case is just a little bit different. One has an easier way to slide the remote in and out of the case, and the other is a bit more of a snap into place kind of case. This is actually my preference. This is the one that has a little bit of an opening here so that you can slide the remote in and out easily. The other case was a bit of a pain when you're trying to get that Apple TV remote out. The little circle here is obviously to insert an AirTag. And then there are some cutouts to match the remote for charging and whatnot. The charging cable does in fact actually fit pretty well, but you do need to mess with it a bit when you're trying to charge it inside of at least this one. And here it's a little bit easier to get it plugged in because you have that extra room to wiggle the remote, but you do have that charging ability. The entire case seemed to have printed actually pretty well. Everything does in fact fit with no real issues. So I grabbed an AirTag, I set it all up with my phone, and then I popped it into this case with absolutely no problems, which is surprising because my friend did say that sometimes things don't fit right off the bat, they might require some sanding, but it actually just worked really, really well here. So once you slide the remote in, there's really not much else to say about this other than now I have a way to track my remote when it inevitably gets lost for the thousandth time this week. In which between the couch cushions or wherever it might end up. Now, the two most notable features for your AirTag and why you'd want this on your remote is the ability to make it play a sound so that you can find the remote or have precision tracking. The sound is a bit more muffled since it is lodged in between the case and the remote itself, but if it's quiet enough in your house, you should still be able to hear it. The precision tracking kind of helps give you a accurate idea of where that remote might be in relation to where you are. You just kind of follow the arrows and it will lead you one way or another to the area in which your remote is at. And then it's up to you to just kind of dig within the couch. Honestly, it would have been ideal if Apple just implemented Find My into this latest version of the remote that's coming out later this month, but unfortunately, that hasn't happened. And so users are looking for ways to make AirTags more useful, and this is definitely a decent alternative, at least until third-party manufacturers catch on and make something like this, or maybe even Apple decides to make an official first-party case that will implement AirTags natively for your Apple TV remote. But again, if you wanna purchase one of these for yourself, or print out the file and 3D print it at home, the description has the links that you might be looking for. But I'd love to know your thoughts on all of this. Is this something that you would buy or try to print? Have you found a better alternative aside from just duct taping it or sticking some adhesive onto back of the remote or the AirTag? Just let me know in those comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.